Does anybody else think I look like a drag queen? I actually put makeup on. It's my last day of summer, and I shouldn't be at home, but I am. Because I really don't have a life, as a lot of you know. So, yeah, I got bored, and I put on makeup. And then after that, I got bored again. So I figured I'd make a really pointless video that probably nobody's going to watch. And if you've gotten to this point, you can, like, you know, click off, uh, let's see. That, no. The, I don't know. Either of these two ways to go to the link bar um, and watch another video. Or, yeah, um, I actually got f over 50 mosquito bites. Um, that's a new record for me. Uh, and I actually have a full box of band-aids on my body right now. Um, and some of them in pretty obscene places. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. I don't even know what this video is about. It's pretty much me rambling. Because I can do that. That's what she said. Anyway, um... My mohawk's growing out. It's like... I don't know if you can see it, but... Yeah, at the beginning of the summer, it was just this really, really short... Okay, that's gonna sound wrong. It was... can't get around it. It was really small, and I looked like a dude, and uh, people who didn't know me, was they were like, like at the grocery store, like, I would give them money, and the old lady at the cash register would just be like, oh, thanks, Sonny, have a good day, young fellow, and I was just like, yeah, thanks, you too. Just walked away. Wasn't worth it at all to call it out. Because, yeah. So, yeah, school starts tomorrow, which kind of sucks. Because, uh, I mean, the people at my school are, like, I mean, some of them are cool, but we have a lot of like, wannabe gangster guys that walk in the halls with their pants down to the an their ankles, hanging onto the crotch of their pants and walking, like, 0.5 miles an hour. And I have some anger issues, so, uh, and they, like, take up the whole hallway so you can't walk past them, and then teachers complain when you're late to class. And it's just like, it's not my fault that you have wannabe gangsters walking down the hall two miles an hour trying to act like they're cool. And, yeah, like I said, I have anger issues. And finally, after, like, fucking five times of saying, excuse me, I pushed past them. And me and my friend Shelby have actually gotten into competitions of where we'll just link arms and yell, excuse me, and then pretty much shove past them and see how many looks we get. We are also uh, the quote-unquote lesbian couple at my school because um, we hold hands down the hallway and people don't get that, like, we're best friends and it's not, like, a sexual thing. Like, I don't know, we just hold hands and hug like normal girls do and, um... A lot of people know I'm queer, but Shelby's, like, totally straight, even though she went through a phase where she wanted to be a lesbian, but, uh, so yeah, there are rumors going around that we're, like, together, and I think it's really hilarious, and, uh, I'd actually go down the hallways, um, holding her hand and screaming lesbians, and I had to stop because Shelby didn't want to have people think that she was a lesbian. Drat. Anyway, 
Um, I don't know. I'm not having any more nightmares, which is good, because um, <clears throat> before my um, anniversary of my one year attempting suicide, I'd always have um, nightmares of, like, me going back to the hospital, but I didn't know that I was going back into inpatient, and I'd just be, like, shoved into the doors of um, child and adolescent, out, or inpatient, and... Um, people saying, like, this is good for you, and just, like, shoving me in, or all of a sudden, I'm walking down the hallway, and, like, there was one time where, <laughs> um, my therapist, like, walked out of the hallway, and she was like, I'm sorry you had to come back here, Megan, and I was like, no, I, I'm just visiting, aren't I? And she gave me a look, and then I woke up, so I'm always having dreams where, I'm going back into inpatient, but I don't know that I am until I'm actually there, which makes sense, because um, when I went in there, I didn't even know what inpatient was. Um, they told me that I was going in for an overnight observation, which wasn't ov overnight observation. I didn't realize that it was a psych ward um, until much later. So... Um, yeah. So, my camera's gonna die pretty soon. Like, the red light is flashing at me. So, I should probably go before it dies. Because I don't really want it to die. So. Oh yeah, and... You. You right there. Subscribe to Color Me Queer. Um, it's a new queer collab channel, obviously, um, and I'm gonna be your Saturday, so you should subscribe. Have a good week, and all that shiz, so I'll see you guys next time.